Hi, Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com and I'm coming to you from my home office outside of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. On today's episode of The Doctor is that I'm going to teach you a very simple strategy that's going to give you the edge in 2016 to make it your best year ever. So stay tuned. Early one morning at Phoenix International Airport, there was a very successful CEO wandering through the concourse looking for a shoe shine station open so that he could get his shoe shine before he caught his next flight. There was one open and it was run by a woman. And as he sat down, she began to shine his shoes and struck up a conversation with her. And he found her to be one of the most fascinating people he's ever met. And as they're talking, she's describing her daughter, her only child, who worked her way up to being a top cheerleader in her school. And not only that, her daughter's cheerleading squad won the state competition and now are going to be competing in nationals. And as the man was listening to this woman talk, he heard the love and the pride in this woman's voice for her daughter. He began to hear some melancholy and worry as the woman said, you know, I've been working this job for five years and I don't know if my shoe shining salary is going to be able to pay for my daughter's cheerleading uniform and the tournament entry fees. And he asked her and he said, I'm just curious, when you are waiting for your clients to come and get their shoe shine, what do you do during that downtime? She said, well, I read books. And he looked down and he saw that she reads romance novels. That conversation haunted this CEO and he got on the plane and it just stayed with him and he began to ask himself what if this woman five years ago instead of reading romance novels while she was waiting for her clients if she read 10 pages a day on skill development business development personal development leadership success would she be asking different questions today and that stayed with him and he immediately took out a pad of paper and a pen and he began to write a book. The CEO's name is Jeff Olson and he wrote the book, The Slight Edged. If you haven't read that book, The Slight Edge, I highly recommend that you do. It's one of the best books I have ever read to date. And it's something that is so needed when we're setting goals for ourselves. You see, we all set goals. We know how to do it. We reverse engineer it. We have a compelling why. We create the visualizations. We do the journaling of our affirmations and affirmations. We create the vision boards. But still, we're not getting the results. Why is that? And Jeff found that it's in the execution of those goals because it's all the mundane tasks, tasks that we overlook that determine our success. And one of the tasks is to read 10 pages a day from a book that can give you skill development, leadership development, personal development, business development. Because think about it, if you read just 10 pages a day every day for one year, 365 days, that's 3,650 pages you've read. And that can be the equivalent to 12 books. Now think about that. If you read 3,650 pages a day, do you think you have developed skill sets that would make you better and have success? Absolutely. So this is my challenge to you, okay? First, I want you to get Jeff Wilson's book, The Slight Edge, and I want you to read it, okay? Make that be the first book you read in 2016. Secondly, I want you to get out a pad of paper and a pen, and I want you to write down 12 books you're committed to reading in 2016, and they have to be leadership development, success development, personal development, business skill development. Write them down and then commit to reading 10 pages a day. I want you to take your mobile device and turn it into a mobile university. You have time during the day to read 10 pages. There's really no excuse, especially with our mobile devices. When you're waiting for somebody, read a page. If you commute and you're commuting via train or by bus or by plane, read. 
If you are in the bathroom, read. First thing you wake up in the morning, read 10 pages, just 10. Because what happens is, is that the little things done every single day initiates the compound effect and that creates massive results. So I want you to do that, commit to that, and then look back on December 31st, 2016 and say, wow, look at all the books I've read and the skills I've developed. And you can see that you have success. Did you find this video helpful? Leave a comment and share. And make sure you like my Facebook fan page so you never miss another episode of The Doctors. And join me tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with my good friends and mentors, Adam Chandler and Justice Egan. They are two of the top entrepreneurs in the home-based business industry. And they're going to be teaching a very simple daily method of operation that will give you the slight edge. They follow the principles in Jeff Olson's book. And they helped me so much when I got started in my online marketing career and helped me create massive success in my business. This is a free webinar, so go to drlisamthompson.com forward slash 2016 challenge and register, arrive 15 to 30 minutes early to assure your spot. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of The Doctor Is In, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.